St. Vincent and the Grenadines remains on orange alert today Wednesday as the volcano La Soufrière continues to, with a spate of activity. Director of the National Emergency Organization in St. Vincent, Michelle Forbes, says the activity at La Soufrière was a bit scary for citizens yesterday, Tuesday. We would have had an effusive eruption of the volcano yesterday within, contained within the crater. So as you would expect, persons, especially closer to the volcano, are quite anxious okay. and are basically preparing in the event that we move to another stage, in the event that there's a further eruption or an explosive eruption. So people are very concerned. People are listening out to, to know what is their next move. People are making preparations in the event that they have to evacuate. But we have not given an evacuation order. We are continuing to monitor the situation in, in collaboration with the Seismic Research Center. Nemo, the director says, is always on the alert. The authorities have been meeting since yesterday as they are aware that the La Soufre can go from doing nothing to a full eruption within 48 hours. Ms. Forbes explains the plans they have in place. So the preparations that we have been advocating for years for families is to start having arrangements of homes outside of what we call the red zone or the orange zone, red and orange zone, that you can actually stay with family and friends if there's an eruption or if the evacuation order is given. We have had reports of people packing their bags and getting ready, waiting. Um, if there's evacuation order, we have been in contact with the communities, especially in the northern part of the island, northeast and northwest, in the event that we need to evacuate persons. We have been reviewing our, our, our disaster plans and ensuring that persons are aware of the evacuation routes. The NEMO director says they are very aware of the pandemic and the problems which could occur with gatherings in one place. So they are encouraging people to stay with their families if they have to evacuate.